Great. We will now be moving on to the question and answers for the position of Vice President Belfast. We have two candidates standing for this position. We have Kiva Clements and we also have Robert Miller. So what we'll be doing is starting off with the two minute um, opening from each candidate. Um, going in alphabetical order, the first person to speak will be Kiva and then Robert. Okay. So our Kiva, yes, I can see Kiva, sorry, I couldn't see for a second. So whenever you're ready, and again, just in case you think, um, if you're not sure what's on in the side um, chat, I am putting in 10 seconds um, for each person whenever you're speaking, so you know when you've got 10 seconds left, okay? Okay, great, thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Nora, for that lovely introduction. So hi, everyone, my name is Kiva. So I'm a final year student, study, stud, currently studying photography with video. I have a wealth of knowledge and I've dedicated time over the past two years to the Students' Union. My experience started off as a course rep. This year, I was elected to be a student counselor for the societies. That came because I have been the chairperson of the photography society for two years. And throughout this year, I've also held a um, school rep, which means I hold, I'm above course reps. I have meetings with them throughout the year. If they have issues, they come to me. And throughout this year, one of the biggest things I've done is the degree show. So students have come to me and I've been working with head of school for that. Another role I hold is Belfast Society Rep, where societies come, come to me with their issues. And we've been doing that for months now, since mm -hmm. September, which has been so beneficial to some students and their feedback has been fabulous. Um, so why am I running? So I am running because over the past two years as well, I have dedicated time to Mind Your Mood, which is the middle half charity at Austin University and something I'm very passionate about. Um, I started off my univers university experience being a very shy, anxious person. And I felt like I had to do something about it and that gave me the ability to, to be this much better person I am now. And um, throughout that experience as well, I have learned, I've been educated through young minds. I have received training certificates from it and I know how to approach mental health in a more healthier, positive way. So what is my manifesto about? My three main points is diversity and equality because we need more diversity on campus. There are so many people under Bridgend at a university, such as postgrads, the LGBTQ plus community, um, females like the postgrads, there are so many people and that needs to change as soon as possible because university is a, should be a non-judgmental environment and I just personally don't say it that way. So Thanks, that's my speaker. first goal. Oh, is it up? Okay. Yes. Thank you. But what I will say to all candidates is that um, if you did have a speech prepared and you didn't get through it all, that's why we have the 30 second summation at the end as well. Okay. okay? Great. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. So the next up to give their opening statement is Robert Miller. Hi, everyone. My my name is Robert and I study fine art here at the Belfast campus. As you can see, creativity surrounds me. It's within me and it goes before me. And my campaign actually plays witness to this here. And um, creativity electrifies the Belfast campus, although you wouldn't think it to look at it. When you walk through the campus, you would not think it's anything like creative, the creative people that's within it. And that's why I want to uh, focus on the campus community and just really restoring and reinvigorating this passion that I have and I have had uh, my whole uni life experience. Like I've been in council, uh, I've run multiple societies and when I was abroad I, I was uh, working in the international office and I helped co-direct Global Bodies program there and all these experiences have really just gave me so much passion for our students and just wanting to, to be there for them and do my best and, and representing them and supporting them in the issues that matter to them. Uh, I have a big campaigning objective as well, and that is to see the uh, rewilding program happening here, similar to that which is happening in Scotland and Europe, parts of Europe. And there's so many benefits to this here. Uh, it helps promote better mental health and it also helps with climate change, which I feel as though locally has been very overlooked in the past 10 years, ever since the recycling box scheme was introduced. I, had, I haven't seen any more local climate change progress. And all this here is what I want to do as part of being your VP Belfast. Thank you. Thank you very much, Robert. Okay, we'll now move on then to our question round. So the running order for this first question will be Robert to speak first, followed by Kiva. 
Okay, so the first question is, what will you do to support students on campus and those whose courses are moving to the new Belfast building? Well, I feel as though even just from what I've already said there, just by restoring the sense of buzz on campus, like that there's being there for students and like being like just active and involved in everything. I can be there to hear people's concerns and to actually hear them so I can act on them. Like, I think that's, that's part of what I'll do. Okay, thank you very much, Robert. And the same question to Kiva. Um, can you repeat the question, please, Nora? Yep, that's absolutely fine. Um, what will you do to support students on campus and those whose courses are moving to the new Belfast building? Um, that is such a good question. So because the new Belfast campus are obviously going to be more students and it should be our duty to make sure they all feel safe. So one thing, if I am elected, one thing I want to do is get our social health clinic back on campus. This will allow students from both new Belfast campuses to feel safe if they have issues to come forward and they will feel much safer in that environment and they will have support there. Uh, another thing I want to do if I'm elected um, is to help students is their mental well-being. So important because this global pandemic has like made it worse. Is it up? All right. Yeah, let's see <laughs> you up again. Um, thank you. OK, so we'll then move on to question number two. OK. So COVID, ha oh, first person to answer this question will be Kiva. Okay. okay. So COVID has disrupted, disrupted how our spaces are used on campus with previous services such as hot food no longer being available. Um, how will you breathe new life into our SU spaces? Sorry, I got caught up there. What was the last wee part? I know, basically, how will you breathe new life into our student union spaces? Um, I think the COVID thing has changed and we need to move forward with different techniques. We can't go back to our old experience. We need a new fresh experience. So what will I do? I will engage with the student body to make sure and understand what they want. As a VP, it's about a teamwork between you and the, you and the student body and achieving those aims. So I will speak to them. I will engage with them and the result will be what they want. Thank you, Kiva. And the same question to Robert, just let me know if you need to please, please, can you? What, yeah? Okay. <laughs> okay, so COVID has disrupted how our spaces are used on campuses with previous services, such as maybe on other campuses, hot food no longer being available. So how will you bring new life back into our student union spaces? Well, as you've probably already seen, I have uh, plenty of vigour in me that even just by, by myself being within these spaces, there will be new life in them. And in terms of like just the student union space, I kind of see that the whole campus is the student space that they can uh, really they own. And I feel as though this is something that should be, I know the society should be empowered and the students should be empowered to make the most of this year opportunity. Thank you very much, Robert. And that then concludes our questions for the position of Vice President Belfast. So we'll just move to submissions now. Um, first person to give submission will be Robert, followed by Kiva, and they are 30 seconds each, okay? So Robert, whenever you're ready. As I hope you've already gathered, like I've got the experience behind me and I really understand the inner workings of UUSU. So I. I've been looking forward to this position for a couple of years planning and I know see how I can best do it. And I already represent the creative atmosphere of the Belfast campus. So let me represent the creative people and uh, all the best and vote Rob for the job in March 22nd to 24th. Thank you very much, Robert. And Kiva. Uh, vote for Kiva on the 22nd to 24th of March. Why? Because I have two years of experience dedicated to both mental health and the student union sector. I have the experience behind me and because I was elected to be on council that means I have the trust in the student body. So trust me more and together we can fight for diversity and equality, sustainability and better mental health. And if I were elected, I would run a campaign that is for consent because no means no. And it's now the time we need to speak up for people 
His voices cannot be heard, so. Thank you, Kiva. Okay. <laughs> it down. okay, great. Well, thank you very much to both of you. And that then concludes our question and answer session for the session of Vice President Belfast. Okay.